Hello, Ron and Ron here again, and today we're going to talk about what is EDTA chelation. Chelation therapy is a treatment that uses a compound such as EDTA to bind to and remove toxic heavy metals like lead, mercury, cadmium, and others from the body. Your body really doesn't have a true mechanism to eliminate toxic heavy metals, so a chelating agent is necessary. Um, the chelating agent is introduced into the body where it binds with the metal ions and this kind of tricks your body into eliminating the chelating agent which has attached itself to the metal ion. Uh, EDTA really is the chelation agent of choice. Um, it's been around really it's simply it's because it's been around the longest. It has the longest track record of safety and effectiveness. Now, now, now sometimes the, uh, the chelated metal can be excreted and other times the metal is just inactivated in the body. Now, either way, the metal ion has been neutralized, which is all the, obviously the desired goal. The concept of chelation therapy as a way to remove toxic heavy metals uh, has been well established as a standard medical procedure for over 50 years. It, it began in the 1930s and really gained true prominence during the 1940s, during and after World War II. Um, it's also important to note that EDTA chelates both good minerals as well as the unwanted toxic heavy metals. So we also recommend anybody on chelation uh, to be supplemented with a high potency mineral formula to protect against mineral deficiencies. Now EDTA works best when it enters the body uh, without having to pass through the GI system, meaning we want to avoid the acidic environment of the stomach. Uh, and the liver, which obviously is the body's filtration system. There are four ways to chelate yourself with EDTA. The first method is the most expensive. It's, it's, uh, it's intravenous or IV. Now, because IV chelation goes directly into the bloodstream, it's extremely effective. However, IV is an invasive treatment, meaning that it's injected directly into the body by a needle and it's mandatory this be done under the supervision of a physician. And it's also very time consuming. Um, the second method of chelation um, is suppository form. Now you can get a high dose of EDTA absorbed directly into the body without the requirement of a physician using the suppository. The issue with suppositories is, well, let's just say most people just don't wanna do it. Uh, it's very convenient, it's effective, it's uh, respective to the IV and the cost is much less. But it can be a little messy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the third option, which is rapidly becoming the method of choice, is topical. Now topical EDTA is absorbed through the skin, it bypasses the GI tract and it goes right to work. Topical EDTA is easy to use, the dosage is low enough that it can be used safely every day or even twice a day. It's also very family friendly. The fourth and least effective method of, of chelation is oral. Now oral EDTA absorption is about 10 to 15 percent of the total dose. So example, if you take 100 milligrams by mouth you can expect maybe a 10 to 15 milligrams to have any actual benefit. So depending on your level of exposure to heavy metals, oral really isn't the most effective choice. Now, while oral is convenient, the bang for the buck is very low, and we really don't recommend that it be used uh, except in conjunction with either a suppository or a topical. So in summary, because of the inescapable nature of toxic heavy metals in our environment and the fact that the body has no mechanism to remove them, we recommend everybody be on some form of chelation basically daily. Uh, without chelating yourself, toxic heavy metals will only accumulate further, which has the potential to have serious negative health consequences down the road. So whether you use a topical or a suppository, you're doing something positive for yourself. So get the lead out.